Welcome to Kojak's Good, Bad and Ugly Choice series. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications. Enjoy you sexy bitches. Hey, welcome back everybody to my Good, Bad, Ugly series. And we are picking up with our episode 2 Good Choices for Life is Strange, uh, the prequel before Storm. Uh, Brave New World. Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firelock is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey! Dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. <laughs> and that woman was definitely not my mom. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. was violated... Okay. Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Uh, don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. The hell I was! I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. I am sorry you feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. 
And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? Complete and total bullshit. Chloe. You're an awesome actor, Rachel. You almost convinced me, and I know you're lying. But come on. Miss Price. Miss Amber. One of you girls better start telling me what actually happened. Now. It's fine. Really. You're right. The truth is, I didn't convince Chloe to ditch with me. I practically forced her to. <laughs> Come on. I was feeling angsty and reckless. Tired of living up to the perfect image everybody expects out of me. I told Chloe if she didn't come with me, I might do something crazy. Like what? Graffiti, steal alcohol, maybe even abuse marijuana. I didn't, thank God. But that's only because Chloe was there. She looked out for me, even after I threatened her. I told her I would blame her for everything if she didn't come along. I knew it would be easy, given all of the prejudices against her. Uh, now... This is some serious... Chloe, I told her. If you get blamed for this, you will be in serious trouble. Serious trouble. Whereas I, having a perfect record at Blackwell, will not. Think about it, I told her. And don't do anything you'll regret. Anyway, that's what really happened. Oh, Rachel. <clears throat> I'm glad we have finally gotten to the bottom of this matter. Though the revelation brings me no pleasure. Miss Amber, I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. <sighs> but the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is what such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend. 
but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe! <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. This shouldn't be so hard. If it looks like a duck, and it quacks like a duck, then it's gotta be a fucking duck, right? Quack. Rachel confessed. I'm not listening to this nonsense. I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. How about you don't take credit for my shit? You don't see me claiming I did my homework, do you? Because that's your stupid thing. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Fine. I'm sorry for bullying Nathan. But if you had to look at that smug face as often as I do... Why come forward now? I'd commend you for your honesty, if not for everything else. Why? To tell the truth, for once. Something that happens so rarely around here. Everybody lies. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the play. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year, with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are expelled. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price, Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. <sighs> hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, Skip? You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here.
Welcome to Kojak's Good, Bad and Ugly Choice series. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications. Enjoy you sexy bitches. Hey, welcome back everybody to my Good Bad Ugly series. And we are picking up with our episode 2 Good Choices for Life is Strange, uh, the prequel before Storm. Uh, Brave New World. Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firelock is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey! Dickhead! Get the f Welcome to Kojak's Good, Bad and Ugly Choice series. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications. Enjoy you sexy bitches. Hey, welcome back everybody to my Good Bad Ugly series. And we are picking up with our episode 2 Good Choices for Life is Strange, uh, the prequel before Storm. Uh, Brave New World. Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firelock is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... reality check time. Three guesses whose bike this is, and they all start with Miss Grant. Damn. I guess I will miss one thing about this place. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. I guess this fire is no joke. I still can't believe Rachel started it. My other vehicle is drama. Someone's trying a bit too hard with those bumper stickers. Taking pride in Blockwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank account. At least I'll have, uh, 
plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again. If I feel like it. It's Mom is clearly fighting time. to hide David, her please. Which, of course, just makes this worse. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me. Your mother. We need to get our own house in order. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I don't want to fight. I care about your mother very much. And you too. I'd like for us to start over. What do you say? Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe, and I'm sorry, but David feels- Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? You know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? I forgive you. You were under a terrible influence. I just worry about you, but that's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? 
we both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Mom, I... I, I know I fucked up. I, I'm a fuck-up. I'm sorry. Are you sorry? You don't even know what you're apologizing for. I've been shutting you out even though I've needed you, and you need me, and I know that. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Ugh. This thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is 
a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. Alright guys, I'm going to go and end it right here. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.